Hello and welcome back to Travel With Us For Life. This week, we take you with us to the Moon Valley in the Atacama Desert. We spent three months traveling through Chile early in 2022 and got to see some incredible sights. We traveled all through the Patagonia and got to complete the old trail, which took us on a seven day hike through the mountains. It was unbelievable. Make sure to check out the videos of the Patagonia we released the last few weeks. You'll find the links for those on the description below. While we were in Chile, we used Santiago, the capital, as the base for all of our adventures and travels, and we got to know the city pretty well. Soon, we'll be making a video about Santiago and what to do while you're there. We also visited a few of the small towns alongside the Pacific coast. We got to enjoy some of the local Chilean food and culture. Chile is an unbelievable country. We loved it. You have to visit at some point. We'll be making videos about those small towns as well and what it's like to live in Chile or what it's like to be a local in Chile. We also got to see many of the lakes all the way high up on the Andes Mountains. But by far, our best time in Chile was visiting the Atacama Desert. On February of 2022, we had the amazing opportunity of visiting the Atacama Desert. Third day in the desert, we had a really good night and we woke up to this. Now, planning for this trip was not simple. The Atacama Desert is a huge place. It's a thousand kilometers long and expands over 105,000 square kilometers. Located on the west side of the Andes Mountains and stretching all the way north to Bolivia and west all the way to the Pacific Ocean, the Atacama Desert is considered the driest place on Earth. As a matter of fact, interestingly, scientists today believe that between the years 1570 and 1971, it didn't rain once. That's crazy. That's over 400 years of drought. Imagine living through that. Check this out. A whole crystal of salt. You see it? Now, the landscape looks exactly as you would expect. Dry and mostly dead. The ground is completely sterile, over 99.5% of the area of the desert, so very few people inhabit this land. And the ones that do, cluster in their 0.5% where there's a small resemblance of vegetation. There are only a few towns in the Atacama Desert, as you would expect, but the small town of San Pedro de Atacama sits in the middle of everything. With a population of 3,900 people, this tiny town acts as the base for most of the tourism in the area. Not only is it centrally located, it is also the only place to get gas, water, or food for hundreds of miles in every direction. 
What's up everyone? San Pedro de Atacama. There were many things that we wanted to see and experience visiting Atacama. We did a lot of research before flying in. And one of the things that we found out is that the average site is about 250 kilometers away from San Pedro. So unfortunately, most tourists they visit spend most of their time there on a bus traveling back and forth rather than actually visiting the desert or experiencing the sites, which is very disappointing and we didn't want to do that. As usual, we decided to break away from the pack and make our own adventure. We decided that we would rent an SUV and camp out under the stars in the desert, thus saving us all the time wasted going back and forth between the sites. Plus, it actually ended up costing us a tiny fraction of what otherwise would have been the cost of doing all the tours. The Moon Valley is located about 17 kilometers west of San Pedro and just before sunset we found a nice open sandy area where to camp for the night and from here we could actually see the Moon Valley peaks in the distance. By the time we got there we had just enough sunlight left to set up the tent and cook dinner before it got pitch black. What's what up? you got? Right now cooking some pasta. We have pasta with onion Pesto sauce and chorizo. Mmm, yummy. Very yummy. And coffee. You want coffee yeah. still? <laughs> the next morning we were up early and after enjoying a nice breakfast, we headed to the valley. What's up guys? What's up guys? Today is the morning of our first day in the Atacama Desert. We actually just woke up. But we got here yesterday around 5 o'clock in the afternoon. We landed at the Calama Airport. We rented an SUV and we drove to the city of San Pedro de Atacama, which is not really a city, it's more like a little town with some huts. <laughs> it was really funny, we were expecting a city and we're driving around and it's all dirt roads and like eight houses. Thankfully we got our groceries. And, yes, we did our grocery shopping <laughs> back in the real city, Calama, where the airport is. But we, we went through San Pedro de Atacama and we drove about 20 miles away from the city into the desert where we are right now. We found a place a place to camp and camped last night. It's really cool. This morning we woke up around 8.30 in the morning. We put everything away, made some really cool breakfast, eggs, fried eggs and toast with some coffee. And we have three things we want to do today. We want to go see the valley of the moon which is supposedly amazing and there's two lagoons that we want to visit as well then we'll find a place to camp and we'll talk to you then we're gonna be here at the desert for seven days we can't wait This area sits at 2,500 feet over sea level and is subject to extreme temperatures with daytime highs of around 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit and nighttime lows of 5 Celsius or 40 Fahrenheit. Valley of the Moon, supposedly the valley of the moon because it looks like if you were in the moon because there's no water here and things die. <laughs> wow. As you come into the valley, you notice the change in scenery right away. Sand dunes and giant rock formations crisscross in front of you, presenting you with an alien landscape. Interestingly, the name Moon Valley comes from how similar the landscape is to that of the moon. As a matter of fact, NASA, the space agency, after studying soil samples and realizing that they were nearly identical to Martian soil, they actually started using this region as a testing site for instruments that were going to be used in missions to the Red Planet.
A common feature not only at the valley, but almost everywhere in the Atacama Desert are the salt deposits. You can find salt crystals everywhere. Some of them are very beautiful, but are also extremely hard and sharp. So if you're not careful, it can easily cut your skin. Check this out. Natural salt. These amazing rock formations are formed when the Atacama Desert runs into the Andes Mountains and then over millennia, the winds have carved these paths and canyons out of the rock, exposing beautiful colors and leaving behind dunes of sand and very interesting rock formations. All right, so I guess not everything is dead. We found one tree. I don't know if you can see it there in the distance. We're gonna go make sure it's an actual tree and not an illusion. Found this really cool little oasis in the middle of the desert. The one tree <laughs> and shade. This is amazing. We've been walking in the sun for the last hour. We're pretty hot, but this is great. We're gonna take a little break here and rest. We spent around seven hours exploring, hiking, and climbing through the never-ending tunnels and got so lost a few times, I had to fly the drone just to find our way out of the maze. It was the late afternoon, we finally made our way back to the SUV and started a 65 kilometer journey to our next destination, the Rainbow Mountains. Make sure you check out that video next week. And remember, if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe so you get more awesome videos like this one.